Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hello. I'm Lauri. And I'm Anni. And today we are going to test which is the most dangerous dust to have in the air in terms of like fire or explosion hazard. And I have heard a lot of like uh, industrial accidents happen with the dusts from like sugar factory explosion to yeah, or, bakery or, or bakery or steel foundry. So we are going to go through all the industries. We have like stuff from the grocery store and then we have iron dust and aluminium dust. And don't try this at home. This we, is stupid. Yeah, this is stupid. But we have good remote control set up. So we are far away when action goes here. And the idea is really simple. We have a scientific uh, Pepsi bottle, which we are going to fill every time to the same level. Then we have four bars of pressurized air pushing the dust out. And then we have huge flame here to make sure that it, it ignites. Yeah. Yeah. And should we start with the like, let's start with sugar. Yeah. Okay. Power at sugar. I'm going to uh, light up the gas torch and then we are going to see the first one. And here we go. Okay, so it works and we did some test shots with a different subject. And I can already say that there is going to be differences on these. Yeah, but uh, I think I'm going to analyze these on the edit when I see the high speed on the big screen. So. Not much talking now, more on the edit. Okay, and here's the first high speed clip from uh, Kronos 2.1. And this was quite challenging, it was really dark and really bright together. But I think we did a decent job. And you can see that the gas torch flame kind of continues inside of the uh, dust cloud. It's really interesting. And this is going to be a mixture of how easy it's going to ignite and how easy it's going to like toss around in a good mist. Okay, milk powder, same amount, same pressure. Here it goes. And I have to say that I'm disappointed with this one. I thought that it's going to be better. Maybe we should have like a creamer. I think it's like cream. Powder, maybe the milk powder didn't have enough fat because the energy content was, uh, it seems to be smaller than with the sugar. There isn't so much flame, even if the, all the dust seems to burn away, but still interesting result. Okay, okay and I think this is going to be closer to sugar than the milk powder. Uh, for some reason, we get, I think we get more ignition. Almost everything that goes up gets on fire. And because of that, we get like a larger flame. And it seems maybe also that the, maybe the particle size is larger. So when things get on fire, they burn longer. And because of that, the flame is also bigger. But best one so far. Okay, and uh, then iron dust. I think we can't do aluminium because it's not windy at all. And it's getting on our clothes and everything and it's like way more toxic than this is. I think iron isn't really toxic, but let's not treat it still. Careful. hotter than the previous ones. I think it's harder to get it float because it's so heavy, but when it burns it's much worse than those. So probably harder to have uh, iron explosion than sugar explosion, but it's going to be worse. And you can see nicely also here that it's way hotter because it's so bright and you can nicely see that I think like almost all of the dust that gets lifted up is going to get on fire. And because it was so heavy, 
we only tossed about like half of the dust out, rest of stayed in the bottle. So this was like half of the amount of material than with the other dusts. Of course it's a lot heavier, but if we go with by the like volume, volume of the dust, then this has way more energy. And yeah, I have to say that I'm a bit surprised with how, how good this was. And because we happened to have a lot of corn starts, we did all the testing and calibration with this stuff. And I have to say that from all of the dust, this makes the by far the largest flames. You can probably see nicely that it's not so bright or hot as with the iron. But I think this is just perfect size of particle. It's easy to toss around. Everything ignites. And it burns like reasonable long time. So this makes some really nice flames. Okay, now we are going to simulate situation where you have a grocery store mayhem and somebody has used a lot of grinder there. So there is also some iron dust mixed on the groceries. <laughs> so really like plausible scenario. On the uh, night when we filmed this, I didn't think that this was super impressive. But now when you look it here on the edit, it's pretty good because it's about as large as the cornstarch. But it's way brighter than the cornstarch. So I think mixing all together is the worst or the best kind of dust explosion. So probably good idea to uh, not have this kind of stuff accumulate on your shelves and top of the lights on your uh, workshop grocery store mayhem area. Okay, and it's the last one. Sawdust, and we didn't have any. So I had to <laughs> saw with my uh, uh, circular saw to make sawdust. Chainsaw would be faster, but I think it's not so like combust up, like easy to ignite than the finer dust from the circular saw. So. Let's go with this. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, time well spent on sawing the plywood. I can saw what I did. Ooh. I made this in the uh, name of the science. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yeah, but uh, I have to say that we have to order also magnesium powder. And let's do the aluminium powder also. I want a bit more wind, so I can know like which side of the powder is safe to be and which not. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. And I have to say that my favorite was uh, Öpölök powder. Yeah, that was good. But the, I, yeah, I would say that the uh, corn starts easiest to ignite and iron the first like end result because lost the Pepsi bottle and everything. <laughs> yeah, but that is all for today. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day.